And WTF Round 2. Limbaugh's plea to be left alone. I challenge you, MSNBC, 30 days without anything mentioning me. No video of me. No guests commenting on me. Let's see if you can do it. F you. He has now issued a response, and we have now created a Limbaugh logo. All that and more now on Countdown. I'll either act like I don't care about it, or I'll fake it. After Rush Limbaugh begged this network to stop criticizing him after he challenged MSNBC to not mention his name for 30 days, I offered to stop constantly referencing him if he would stop constantly referencing himself. He has now responded. TV writer David Bauder asking Limbaugh for comment. The answer, quote, Limbaugh responded in an email to the Associated Press on Thursday, quote, that's incoherent. You spend more time talking about yourself than anybody else in broadcasting. You stop that, I'll stop it too. To help you find coherence in that, making its world debut on this very program, behold, our new and improved Limbaugh logo. And now, a second challenge to him. Since this was too complicated for you the first time, Sonny, we'll give you a second chance. It's tonight's WTF moment. Rush Limbaugh's startling admission that he cannot take it anymore, that this network's coverage of him has not only gotten to him, but gotten to him to a point perhaps never reached before by any other megalomaniac. He's suddenly gone all Greta Garbo on us. He wants to be left alone. He has surrendered. He cannot say it that way, of course. Were he to, the entire edifice that is Rush Limbaugh would come crashing down, and then we'd have to get one of those rescue squads from the ski resorts to go in and look for survivors. No, no, suddenly the impact of being accurately called out day after day, hour after hour, as a faux populist, press release regurgitating, lackey of repressive and regressive political flunkies, that has hit bone. Finally, took a while. In some, Rush Limbaugh, who told me in person years ago that his dream of dreams was to be on television, to be on ESPN, perhaps to sit next to me on SportsCenter, an utter television failure who yearns to somehow undo that permanent label. Rush Limbaugh does not want to be on TV anymore. It seems that the liberalism that is MSNBC isn't selling as well as they would like. Because they cannot, from the Scarborough show in the morning all the way to night, they cannot. They cannot go any appreciable length of time without showing video of me, the CPAC speech, or excerpts from this radio show, or having a bunch of hack guests on to discuss me. So my challenge is this. To MSNBC, let's see if you can run your little TV network for 30 days. Let's see if you can do rush withdrawal. Let's see if you can run your little TV network for 30 days without doing a single story on me. And then let's take a look at your ratings during those 30 days and see what happens. F you. You're in charge of this? You're not in charge of this. You put your bile out into the public airwaves for three hours a day and you get to decide how people react to it? The hell you do! There are rules about how we can and cannot react to the peril to this nation you've successfully strived to become. There are no rules. You built this little world. Either man up and live through the bad press or get out. Because obviously MSNBC thinks they cannot get numbers without focusing on me. To the degree that the numbers we are getting have anything to do with Rush Limbaugh, it's like the numbers we got after Hurricane Katrina. There was a blight upon the land, there was a huge campaign to BS the American public that the problems were actually the solutions. We told the truth about it and people watched. Rush, you are the radio equivalent of heck of a job brownie and the bush flyover and the refugees in the Superdome. You are a human federal disaster area. It is clear to me that MSNBC is hoping to build its ratings on my back. This is where he would say of somebody else, but there's so much room back there. Instead, I will go here. This man, this publicity addict, this fame junkie, this victim of the unquenchable thirst for attention, all of a sudden he's afraid of being criticized on a television network which he believes has no viewers and no reach and no impact. See if you can do it. You know, stand on your own two feet. Stand on liberalism. Stand on what you believe. Rush, this is, in part, what we believe. 
This isn't a bid for ratings. We believe you suck. We believe you have contributed to the coarsening and deadening of the political dialogue in this nation. And I'm saying that as a guy who just said, F you. We believe your fixation on Bill Clinton's sex life lessened the chances that everybody in this country could have begun a serious discussion of terrorism before terrorism hit. We believe that you use chicanery, trickery, and outright lies to influence gullible people whose entire understanding of complex issues vital to their own happiness and survival is then reduced to a bunch of your catchphrases, and they don't even understand the catchphrases. We believe that the day you stop doing your show, even if you're replaced by one of those buffoons who fill in for you, that the collective intelligence of this nation will jump by at least one IQ point simply because you shut up. We believe that as you boast that you are listened to by 14 million Americans a week, you cannot see the forest for the ratings trees. All the rest of us, the crushing majority of the other 292 million Americans, we divide into three groups. Those who are hating you, those who are laughing at you, and those who will go blissfully through their lives not having any earthly clue who the hell you are or were. So I challenge you, MSNBC, 30 days without anything mentioning me, no video of me, no guests commenting on me. No video, you say? You mentioned the CPAC video where you forgot the first rule that guys like you and me, the hefty of this world, are supposed to remember. Never undulate. You don't like us showing it. I can understand that. Well, you got it. How's this? You know, if you look at this long enough, it's got a strange soothing effect. It's kind of a kind of lava lamp of hate speech and condescension and a subconscious reminder to everybody to check the support columns under your front porch. Didn't do it today. The video. Let's just make that permanent, all right? Dear viewer, this is our new logo. So, Mr. Limbaugh, your challenge. With all this yet, am I still up for negotiation? It's one of the problems with having a liberal heart. When the wounded animal, no matter how venomous, no matter how much at fault, begs to be left alone, I still listen. I will go 30 days on this program without referencing what has been done or said or boasted about by Rush Limbaugh, provided you go 30 days on your program without mentioning what has been done or said or boasted about by Rush Limbaugh. Hannity would last longer on the waterboard. WTF. Uh, is that coherent enough for you? And now we know, courtesy of Mr. Mueller, just how long that would be. Six seconds. That's countdown for this, the 2,213th day since the previous president declared mission accomplished in Iraq. Don't you feel like doing that now when you see this at home? <laughs> see you if you're so inclined on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon at 12.35 uh, Eastern Time, AM, on your local NBC station later this evening. Yeah, we look pretty good together there. I'm Keith Olbermann. Good night and good luck. And now with her special guest, the head of the Liberty University Dem Democratic <laughs> Students X Club, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, here is Rachel Maddow. It's like the Muppets here, isn't it? Good evening, Rachel. We're going to give the camera operators carpal tunnel syndrome. Yes, ultimately. Well, they can do this to us. We can do it to them. Fair enough. Thank right. you, Keith. You're No, I'm tired. All right.